everyone, how's it going? I'm out in this just absolutely beautiful forest right now. This is a forest I uh, passed through last year, actually, and I did a video out here. I came, came out here to look for some great gray owls. This is an area that I backpacked through years ago. And on that backpacking trip, I, I was able to see a great gray owl and get some pictures of it in just this beautiful, beautiful setting here. So last year I came back and uh, passed through the area for a couple days and was able to find a great gray owl to photograph again. And uh, I'm back again this year. I'm here to stay for a little bit longer this year. I'll be out here for about four days or so. And, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, I'm just gonna explore this area more in depth like I mentioned, I've backpacked through before, but I really haven't spent a ton of time just exploring and getting to know it. So I'll, uh, I'll be in this area for about four days or so. I'm going to set up my tent here. This seems like a good spot to set up camp. And, uh, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's already getting later in the day. Um, the sun's probably going to set. There's a great gray owl right, just flew by. Did you guys see that behind? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off. Can you hear the chickadees? Can you hear them um, calling all of a sudden? That's because there's an owl. Oh my gosh. What an excellent start to this video and to this trip. My goodness. Um, okay, I like, okay. I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna leave my stuff. And see if I can go get a picture of this guy. I'll set up camp here. He's flying. He's he's still going that way. Um, okay, I'm gonna go before I lose him. Hopefully, I can find him again. I hope you guys saw that and him fly behind me. That was awesome. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. How amazing was that? Holy cow! Um, you know, there's a reason that these guys are often referred to as ghosts or phantoms because they just, they appear out of nowhere and they can disappear just as quickly. Um, I wasn't able to find that owl again, unfortunately. These trees back here are so thick. The owl can just move in them so easily and hide so easily. Um, or I saw him fly further into the trees while I was making my way over there, but I wasn't able to find him, so uh, that sun's going down quick. Uh, it's probably got like 30 minutes, so I am just going to hustle and set up my camp. And uh... I'm just like looking everywhere for an owl. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little distracted. Um, I'm just gonna set up my tent just really, really quick. And then I'm gonna go out and and look for owls because obviously they're in the area. I thought I heard one earlier when I was hiking through the forest, but it was just so brief and so distant that I wasn't sure. And then what do you know, that guy flying behind me and to the side, that was <laughs> absolutely amazing. I probably passed right by him on my way to this spot, honestly. But um, yeah, I'm gonna set up, this will be my base camp for the next four days or so. Uh, follow along this week as I hopefully find and photograph some great gray owls. <laughs> Thank you. 
Good morning. Such a pretty day today. So uh, I went out looking for that owl last night. Never could find it and I got back to camp really late. So I didn't check in with you. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty much like pitch black when I got back. It was really cool though, because I heard an owl calling around my camp throughout the night. Um, you know, I was eating dinner last night and and it started calling and and then it, you know, it was just kind of jumping around from spot to spot hunting and uh, I got my dinner, went to bed and then throughout the night I just heard it calling a couple times and then a little bit this morning. It was still really dark though, so I couldn't find it. But then I uh, went out for a few hours this morning and just explored the area, looked around for any owls or signs of owls, I didn't find any. But, you know, I know there's at least one in the area and I'm thinking there's two. Uh, just because, like I mentioned yesterday when I, when I was coming in last night um, to this area, I heard an owl over in this forest over here and then just like minutes later you know I was checking in with you guys like two minutes later three minutes later I don't know I was checking in with you guys and that owl <laughs> flew from behind me uh, totally opposite direction so unless you know I heard this one and it snuck over here somehow without me seeing and then flew back over there um, you know it could could have been the same owl, I'm not sure, but I'm thinking there's there's uh, at least two owls in the area. And one of the owls that I heard, or the owl that I heard calling last night, again, I don't know how many it was, how many there were, but I uh, heard a younger owl calling. Sometimes they'll call and like beg for food or, you know, even when they're starting to get older. And I heard that last night. So I'm, I'm thinking that there's an adult or two adults and then young in the area, which would be awesome. I just, I just need to find them. But, uh, you know, it's about lunchtime already. I was out for a few hours this morning, um, early lunch. So I'm going to get a late breakfast, early lunch here. And then uh, I'm going to head right back out, do some more exploring, see what we can, see what we can find. Such a beautiful area though, I'm so glad to be out here again and be able to spend a few days out here. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to see some, some critters out here. I did see a squirrel this morning, that was fun. Just getting some seeds from a pine cone and then I heard a grouse in the area. So, you know, there's plenty of wildlife around. There were coyotes calling last night as well, which was cool. Plenty of wildlife around, just gotta find it. Let's get some breakfast, lunch, brunch. Uh, let's get some brunch, because I'm quite hungry. And uh, yeah, then we'll go out and see what we can find.
Hey everyone, <laughs> what an amazing afternoon I just had. Uh, all day really has just been absolutely incredible. Uh, this morning, you know, like I told you guys, got back to camp, had my breakfast, and uh, just kind of admired all the beauty, beauty around me. I went on a hike, did some exploring, and it was fantastic. Whew, sorry, I'm a little out of breath, been hiking all afternoon. And then uh, this afternoon, I went out and uh, started looking for owls again, and I found one. And it was absolutely incredible. I had um, quite a bit of time with him or her, I'm not sure. Um, I'll just call it a her, it, it felt like a her. I had a lot of time with her. And, uh, whew, sorry, I'm just catching my breath. And uh, most of that time though, she was just up roosted, kind of resting. I got her in like the middle of the afternoon, the worst light possible. Um, but I was able to spend some time with her, just kind of watch her there. And then this evening, or like late afternoon, early evening, um, she started hunting and she was just booking it. She was going from spot to spot to spot. And she was just so hard to keep up with. But it was just awesome watching her hunt. She was just so intent on these little chipmunks and squirrels running around. I, I didn't see her catch any, but uh, it was just fun watching her. This area though, that I'm hiking through, there's so many hills, just ups and downs, which is why I'm so out of breath because I've been doing this for the last, uh, let's see, what time is it now? It's like seven o'clock and I found her at about 3.30. So, you know, for a few hours now, I've just been going up and down these hills. So I'm so out of breath and that's how I lost her too. Um, she was just able to fly over these hills so easily and I would have to go down one, go up the other one and maybe I'd see her like the next hill over and then she would kind of move to another spot and it was just really hard to follow her. Um, and that's how I ended up losing her. But it was just so much fun spending time with her. I got some some fun uh, like portrait shots that I'm really happy with, still working on the uh, in-flight shots and whatnot, but just had a wonderful time with her. If you couldn't tell, it's getting dark really fast. I'm almost back to camp, and uh, I can't walk and talk at the same time, it seems, but uh, I always have this problem. Um, I'm gonna head back to camp, get some dinner, and then I think I'm gonna do some reading because it's already getting dark, but it's only like 7, 7.30. It's not even that late, but it's just getting dark really fast. So uh, I don't wanna to go to bed yet, but I'm gonna get some dinner and then uh, do some reading. And yeah, we'll call it a night and then we'll, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. See if we can find some more owls and other wildlife. It's just been an amazing time out here such a fantastic day so uh yeah we'll see you guys in the morning Thank you. 